Well, let's start with this scene where we have our AI that we can kill. So we'll shoot projectiles at this guy and kill him that way. All right, and um, let's save this as uh, under scenes test. Oops, test. I don't know, thirteen, I guess. How about gun? So, give me standard assets. By the way, this is on the Mac again, because that is just super convenient for me. I don't have to lug around my big, gigantic PC laptop. Looking for a third person. No, I'm looking for a first person controller. And I'm going to put that in my scene there and disable my third person controller and <clears throat> turn off my camera since the FPS rig is my camera and if there's an AI somewhere in here cube dude let's have cube dude follow Where's the follow thingy? Here. Let's have him follow the FPS controller. Like so. So now when I press play, it's an FPS style game. And he's following me. All right. And maybe I'm a little bit big compared to him. Let's have a look. Whoa, that's not FPS. That's FPS. And I can't really see it. So I'll go shaded wireframe. No, that's not really helping either. Maybe that's why I turned off this stuff. Wait, what am I turning off? Um, first of all, I don't think my FPS should be stuck in the ground. Scale it down a little, I guess. Okay. So now when I hit play... Woo! I can jump pretty high. Oh, and he died. He dies when he hits the red, uh, the red dot. So let's... Let's move that red cube somewhere. Whoops. Killer red cube. Put it someplace safe. Whoops. <laughs> Let's put it above that yellow block. It's a little less dangerous. And, um. Woo! Okay. Anyway. Let's give this guy a gun, so hit save. I guess I'll go to the asset store, go shopping for a gun. I don't know, free gun. Gun. Something really small, please. Sci-fi gun. Uh, all right, it's free. It looks all right. Is it downloading? Now it is. Import it. Sci-fi gun import. And uh, let's do it. What? Components. Shouldn't there just be a prefab? Oops. What if I put it in my scene? What does that look like? 
it looks nice. Let's uh, parent that to the FPS controller like that. And bring it up a little. Show me the game view here. And bring up the gun. Oh, there's my gun. And rotate that gun 90 degrees. I mean, it will be. You might have to rotate it differently in whatever scene you're in. I just want it to be kind of in view, kind of like where it would be in an FPS game, like that, something like that, I guess. Huh. How does an FPS game work? <laughs> How does an FPS gun aim at stuff? Well, that's a good question. Well, I'm just going to bring it back like that. So it's roughly pointed at stuff. Okay, so if you hit play, and you move around, you have a gun that's sort of there, and if I'm like clicking the mouse, it should be shooting. Okay, so this should be pretty easy, and I'm kind of psyched about this to be totally honest. So I'm going to add gun, I'm going to capitalize it, gun shoot script, new script, gun shoot, create add. Yeah, it's on the gun, so that should make things a little easier. Um, it would be different if you had a game where you had to pick up the gun and use it, but this is how I'm doing it. This is the easy way. Uh, let's see here, public, nope, we don't need a public, sorry. What we need is, we're going to press a button, yeah, we need a public, because what we need is a game object projectile. So this can be anything that you want to shoot, and I need to check my phone because it buzzed me. Somebody's sending me slacks, I don't like it. Uh, so, we got lots of projectiles. Uh, sorry, no we don't. I just, I'm getting a lot of slacks, and they made me say I'm getting a lot of projectiles. Um, my phone is vibrating like crazy. Uh, let's see, so we have a projectile. And what we'll say is, if input.get button and we'll call it fire one, I think. So when somebody presses fire one, which I believe is a left mouse button, we're gonna do something. We are going to, I'm kind of guessing this, game object dot instantiate. And then it's original, comma, position, comma, something. Why isn't this bigger? Um, instantiate, projectile, comma. Let's see. So we're going to instantiate, which means we're going to make a clone of an object. And in this case, I want it to be that red death cube. And we are going to set the position. Let's just say it's at the position of the gun, which is transform dot position. 
and I'm gonna just kind of close that and see if let's see if that works. So a bunch of these red cubes should just drop onto the ground, except I did something wrong. I did I need Unity Engine Object Unity Engine Transform. So I guess that should just be transform, not position. I don't know if that's I don't know what that's going to do. I think it's going to parent it. So I shouldn't be working like this. I shouldn't just be writing code on the fly without knowing what I'm doing. Because I thought I knew what I was doing. So what happens if I press the fire button? Nothing happens. Am I not instantiating stuff? I'm not. Because I never assigned an object. So which object is the death cube? Come on, scene. Give me... How do I select the death cube? Kill cube. There's my kill cube. So here's my gun. Here's my kill cube. Dragging it over into my projectile. Press play. And then click the fire button. Oh! Oh! Oh yeah, okay, so it's working, except that it's making a million of them, and they're parented to this transform. So that's wrong. Totally. So I need to... Unity 3D instantiate. And what we want to do is... Uh, how do you set the transform parent to the world? Well, this one says projectile, transform position, transform rotation. Ooh, I need to do it this way. Oh, this whole thing is awesome. I'm going to just copy this. So, yeah, <laughs> if you Google... Uh, Unity 3D instantiate, you get this whole thing that basically shoots projectiles. So I'm going to copy this whole thing and paste it here. Wait, yeah, it's the whole update. Except that I'll probably change whatever it says to projectile. Oh, it, it's actually using the same exact name. So it's saying clone is this rigid body which is this projectile and it's using the same position and rotation as the object we're attached to which is the gun and then it sets the rigid body to clone and then we're setting clone velocity to the direction of our gun the forward vector wait now we're telling our yeah clone velocity to be in the direction Actually, I'm not sure how this is working, but we're multiplying it by 10. So in theory, it's the direction of the gun times 10, so that's 10 meters per second. Uh, cannot convert game object to rigid body via built-in conversion. So line number 18 is bad because I'm instantiating. Well, let's just do this. Game object clone is equal to blah 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 blah. As game object, I don't think I need that part, but I'm doing it. Rigid body RB RB is equal to. It should be clone dot get component rigid body like that and then RB dot velocity is equal to all this stuff so save it compiles I mean, we see it shooting, but I think it's shooting behind us. 
So all we have to do is probably change this to negative. So it depends on the model, maybe. Did I not hit play? I did. Oh, now it's shooting to my left. So it was probably shooting to the right, and now it's shooting to the left. It's interesting. So I cloned my object, and I guess it's using the object's transform. So this is, without getting too much into it, it's confusing, right? But I'm going to change it from forward, which is shooting to my left, to right, which would shoot forward. Um, I just don't understand the syntax. But we're doing this in a rush. Sometimes we don't understand what we're doing. But check it out. We're shooting, OK? This is really awesome. All right, we'll run it again. Okay, I'm just shooting at stuff. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, it is funny. These things are huge. But, you know, we know how to scale stuff. Basically, it's cloning that red box. Oh, look, he's going to run into one of these. Yeah, he dies. <laughs> he didn't, so we didn't have to make him die right away. But, because we, what we could have done is say on collision and if the, if the, if the relative velocity is larger than a certain number, then he dies. But I don't know. We want to keep things simple, right? But maybe, maybe we want our kill cubes to stick. So what if we duplicate that and we call it sticky cube? because Nick wants them to stick on things, I think. So our sticky cube um, is a killer somehow, and that's OK. But we're going to add a new script called cube stick. And what it's going to say is when this thing bumps into, uh, bumps into something, it's going to stick. Now, uh, how are we going to do that? Mm, I think it'll be something like void on collision enter. Um, and I think that needs to be a collider or collision. Collision. I should probably Google this. Unity 3D on collision enter. Yeah, it's a collision. <laughs> so if call dot relative velocity, whoops, I don't like that, is dot magnitude, right? Is greater than or equal to, let's call it 10. Might not do anything. Then what happens? How about game object dot get component rigid body dot is kinematic I don't know why it keeps equals true I don't know if my code is good so I have to test it it compiles does it compile and I think I set the number too high. Let's see, are they becoming kinematic or what? No. But if they were, whoops. OK, so we'll just set this number much smaller, like 1. On collision, if it hits it going 1 meter per second, it should stick. Well, I don't know about stick, but it will freeze in the air. 
and it's not freezing in the air. <laughs> but we were able to kill that guy. They, they aren't going kinematic, that's for sure. So if I go to my scene, and if I select one of these guys, kill cube. Oh, well, that's part of my problem. They are kill cubes. Got to select my gun and change this to sticky cube. And let's shoot sticky cubes. Okay, so <laughs> it collided with ourselves. Uh, what if I make it 10 again? It's still going to collide with, with us. Yeah, that's, so that's an unfortunate side effect. It, um, it will stick in space. It's not really sticking to something. If we want it to stick to something, it would have to be, um, first of all, let's say if call dot compare tag player, right? So we have to say not. That, that means not. So if it's not hitting the player, which is what we are, let's make sure we're tagged. We are not tagged as the player, but now we are. I know I'm going fast, but you can always rewind it. It looks like I have Ooh, the collision does not contain. So collision dot game object dot compare tag. Now it should be happy. By the way, I'm reading the stuff down here. That's how I know when I've typed something wrong. And that thing spins around until it finishes compiling. And then if these errors go away, that means it's working. OK, so now it actually does shoot. And instead of sticking to objects, it just sticks where it, where it collided. You see? And that's what is kinematic is doing. It's kind of like, well, it's weird that when I move the camera up and down, the gun stays where it is. And maybe I want the gun to stick to the first person character. Let's try that. Does that help? Yeah, now it's like up and down. Okay, so that is not the same as what... <laughs> See, they just stick in the air. That's so funny. Um, <laughs> it's totally not quite exactly right. So how do we get it to stick to something? First of all, if Daniel's watching this, he's saying, oh, you should have curly brackets. So I'll add curly brackets. And then I'm going to comment out this line because I'll show you another way. So if, OK, so rigid body, I guess we'll call this RB equals call dot game object dot get component rigid body so if the thing that we hit so if it has a rigid body so if rb is not equal to null now the things get a little bit complicated rb dot add component fixed joint. Oh wait, no, we need a uh, fixed joint fj is equal to, so we're creating a fixed joint on our rigid body, which is the thing that we're, we're colliding with. So if that thing has a rigid body, then we can stick to it by creating a joint. 
on that to the projectile, which is what we are, what cubes the cube stick script is attached to. So fj dot connected body is equal to so we added it to the collider so this will be game object dot get component rigid body like that I know it's confusing you have two rigid bodies the the other guy that you hit and us so you're creating a fixed joint on the other guy and you're saying we are connected to you which is what this is game object is us and by us I'm referring to the sticky cube which is what this script is attached to and let's see if that works I see errors it says rigid body does not contain a definition for add component because we should not be adding a component to rigid body we should be adding it to the game object see oh that's beautiful oh see now it doesn't actually stick to that guy cuz that has no rigid body that has a rigid body. Look at that. Ah, oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. It's like Katamari Damashi or whatever that game is. That is so cool. I'm really impressed with my own work here. Oh, that's just weird though. Um, there. So now we have sticky projectiles that kill things and um, except for now what's going on there something weirds going on here how come I can't when why are they they're so sticky maybe some of them are sticking to the ground can't I like push them out of the way I don't know. I don't know. If, is it working or isn't it working? Let's try it again. First, um, let's shoot this guy. I, actually, that did stick to the guy, even though he fell over. And some of those are stuck to the column. And how about the sphere? Boom. It's cool because it, um, see how it adds weight to it? Oh, this is like one of the coolest things I've seen. Just sort of seeing physics do cool physics stuff. Alright. So, and then it hits that thing and it sticks. Well, okay. Something's freaking out. I think that's okay. So that's pretty cool. I I have my FPS. I took a gun. I stuck it to. I dragged it into the FPS um, controller, and I made sure that it shows up in the frame. And then to that gun, I attached a script, which used an object that I created called Sticky Cube. And Sticky Cube has a cube stick script, which allows it to stick to stuff. And this thing has a uh, sh gun shoot script. So gun shoot and Sticky Cube. Here's gun shoot. It's like so few lines of code, but you're going to have to experiment with vector 3 dot forward or vector 3 dot left or vector 3 dot right etc so 
keep keep looking at this code this is important this is your gun script and it shoots stuff when you press the fire button you can get rid of the start uh, thingy remove this text because it's just in the way you can move that down you can move that down so it's nice and neat you don't have to be so neat I'm going to save it so this is the script you want um, if you're going to change the name of the file of the script if it's lowercase you're going to need to change it here in the class make sure that works and the other script you need is cube stick whoops and I thought I could just drag it to there which I just did okay now this is to make your projectiles sticky you attach this to the projectile um, basically it creates this fixed joint. Let's get rid of this is, is kinematic thing because that's a waste of time. And it will only stick to objects that have a rigid body attached. So that's the way it is. Or, or let's use that line of code. If rigid body is not equal to no, null, so that means if we have a rigid body, this is what happens else we'll just make it hang in space the way we did like that so now first let's see if it works and it should stick to the walls it should stick to other things That's kind of amazing, except I guess it loses velocity after a while. Stick to the wall. All right, it doesn't want to stick to the wall. Kill that guy, ooh, he's dead. And it sticks to that, it sticks to that. Uh, okay. I gotta hand it to Nick. He does come up with some cool ideas. That's that's permanently recorded in this YouTube video forever and ever, for all time. Can't believe I said that. Oh, oh, sorry, this is like so cool. But um, I wonder if... Yeah, even the orientation of the cubes is kind of kind of good. Yeah, they're big. Um, sorry, this is actually some of the most fun I've had in um, game development. Making a gun that shoots sticky things. So that that's great. I, I, um, I love this. But here's what I'll do. I'm going to stop the video here and we'll make our sword in the next video and um, hopefully hopefully that all works out as well so I better stop stop this recording now <laughs>